Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, March 1st, 2021. Let's go to Aiden to see what happened today in history. Thank you, Peyton. Today in history on March 1st, U.S. sets hydrogen bombs in the Pacific Archipelago Bikini, which is part of the Marshall Islands in 1954. This turned out to be the biggest nuclear explosion the U.S. has ever created. The scientists grossly underestimated the power of the bomb. I guess you can say everyone was blown away. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Aiden. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. A 21-year-old rose across the Atlantic and sets a record. Last Saturday morning, Jasmine Harrison became the youngest woman to row alone across an ocean. It took the 21-year-old swim teacher just over 70 days to row across the Atlantic Ocean. Every year, rowers taking part in the Atlantic campaign set off from the Canary Islands in December and row roughly 3,000 miles across the Atlantic. Some handle the rowing in teams of two, three, or four. Others, like Ms. Harrison, row by themselves. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is chili mac, burritos, green beans, diced pears, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's get to Sonia for our Film of the Week segment. Thank you, Noah. Good morning, Patriots. This week is National Cheerleading Week. This week it gives recognition to the job of cheerleaders and how they encourage their team. Some celebrities who were previously cheerleaders include Sandra Bullock, George W. Bush, Miley Cyrus, Megan Fox, and Cameron Diaz. Did you know that the founder of this sport was Linda Lundy? Thanks to her, we now have people to cheer our players on. Happy National Cheerleading Week! Let's go back to Peyton! Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, the Scholastic Book Fair is going on now. It will run until March 7th. The book fair is virtual this time around. Ask your parents to join you in supporting our school by picking out some awesome books online today. Now let's see what's new at the book fair. See what's new at your Scholastic Book Fair. See what's new at your Scholastic Book Fair. Awesome. To visit the book fair, just click on the link in the description below. And scholars, March Madness starts this Wednesday, March 3rd through March 12th. We are putting class against class in an epic I Ready showdown. The incentive will be pizza and ice cream for the winning class. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 86 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. If you spend some time outside today, I'm sure you'll have a great day. Now let's go to Sam with the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. Why should you never use a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. Now let's go to someone for today's birthday. Thank you, Samuel. Great joke. Today's birthday boys and girls are Melorick Vera, Selena James, and Anthony Davila. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, 
treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Hendrickson, Ms. Kane, Ms. Ayndeng Kwa, Ms. Calabrese, Ms. Santisteban, Ms. Barrow, Ms. Stone, Ms. Manum, Ms. Anaya, Ms. Silvera, Ms. Santori, and Ms. Moraz. You had the correct answer to Friday's riddle, which was, a pet shop owner had a parrot with a sign on its cage that said, parrot repeats everything it hears. Davy bought a parrot for two weeks and spoke to it. And it didn't say a word. He returned the parrot, but the shopkeeper said he never lied about the parrot. How can this be? The correct answer to this riddle was the parrot was deaf. Now for today's riddle. If you had a ton of zebras and a ton of leaves and you put them on a balance, which side of the balance would lower? Again, if you had a ton of zebras and a ton of leaves and you put them on a balance, which side would lower? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Riddles will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, remember, we unite, rise. Have a great day.